Good evening folks, welcome to the second half of the Beer, Van, Beer Advent Calendar, day 13. Uh, get straight at it, open it up and see what we got. Lucky 13. I'll zoom in so you can see it before I have a look. So we have Land Gang Brewery, I believe it is, and simply called Land Gang Pills. So we got a Pilsner, and basically Pilsner is a light color lager. Um, pretty well in North America, all of our mass produced beers, or most of them are Coors, Labatt's, Budweiser's, they're all Pilsners. So my understanding, Pilsner is the most common beer in the world. It makes up 90 odd percent of the beers sold. Um, it started, I believe, in the 1830s in Czech Republic in a town called Pilsen. And my understanding at the time, they were having a lot of issues with the quality of the beer. And basically one year they got basically garbage and all the beer was poured out and was dumped. So the citizens, they pretty well demanded something to be done and I guess they hired a guy and to establish a brewery I guess he did some research took some ideas from some different breweries different countries and he brewed the first Pilsner and apparently they didn't trademark the recipe or the name so within a couple years pretty well different countries all over were doing a Pilsner style of beer and I guess a couple years after that that they tried to trademarked again but they I don't know exact story but it was another beer they trademark trademark as the Pilsner, Pilsner original and that's still around today um, try to remember the name it begins with you you are or or something like that I'm not quite sure all right let's see if we got any information 5.0 percent alcohol so that's you know pretty well the nor ordinary sorry that's pretty well ordinary for a Pilsner range and I don't know if there's anything on my cue cards I don't know because like I said it is a pretty common oh, they have German pills I wasn't sure if they would because it is uh, straw to light color 3 out of 5 for bitterness alcohol content normally 4.4 to 5.2 for flavor and balance they serve floral perfume hops dominate aroma and flavor crisp finish from bitterness often has some bread like pale malt flavors as a history, they say the German interpretation of the original Pilsner from Bohemia, Czech premium pale lager. This style is Germany a paler, lighter bodied, and less malty than the, than the Czech premium pale lager. So I'm assuming this is German pills, but they're all pretty similar. I don't think I, there's a cue card for a. Uh, let me just check this here, folks. I don't think there's a cue card for a regular pills oh, sorry not a regular, I shouldn't say regular pills but a check pills and I can't even find the cue cards so I'm not even going to bother uh, I'm going to give my glass a quick cold water rinse I'm going to use my Pilsner glass so I know it's going to be light colored probably golden straw should have a nice white head See. Just gonna check the box just to see if they call this a German pills or just a pills. This one is referred to as a German style pills. Pretty well what I just read to you, so I don't think there's a lot of difference between the German pills and the Czech pills. Two countries that have a tendency to make amazing lagers, in my opinion. Lots of carbonization, nice foamy white head. Lots of bubbles in the glass. Um, yeah, a bit of a bready aroma, as they mentioned. Nothing 
jumping out any good or bad. Typical lager aroma. Ooh. Um, that's actually more bitter than I expected from a Pilsner. Not overly, overly bitter or hoppy like a IP or anything like that, but a little bit more than I expected from a uh, Pils. They say uh, German Pils are normally a little bit hoppier. Let me just see if I can find that again. As they said, it's generally paler, lighter bodied, and less malty than the Czech pills. Um, yeah, it's definitely more hoppy than uh, malty. A little bit more hoppy than I would like, but not overly. Sorry about that, folks. Having some problems with the uh, camera there. As I was saying, so it's not a bad beer, however, it's more bitter than I would prefer, for a Pilsner anyways. There's definitely some bitterness there. It's not that it's bad, it's not that I'm not enjoying it, but it's more bitter than I would prefer for a Pilsner. Pretty, that's pretty well done. Uh, rating wise, and even the bitterness, the um, hoppiness, even with the aftertaste, I mean I just had a sip and 30 seconds later I can still taste it. So that's not a big thing, big plus for me. Uh, rating wise, my rate, ratings are always out of 5. A 1's a drain port, don't like it, can't finish it. A 2 is like, yeah, I'm not a fan, but I don't want to waste it, so I'll finish it. 3 is a good beer, a 4 is a very good beer, and a 5 would be the best beer ever. And this one, for me, it's pretty simple. I'd give it a 3.0. It's a good beer. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But for me, it's not a great beer. It's not a very good beer. So here you go, folks. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow, and we'll see what the... Uh, Geez, day 14 has to bring. Until then, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.